Well, Gary, the pre-season has flown by and all of a sudden round one is upon us. You must be excited. Yeah, we are, Sammy. Obviously, there's a lot of work that goes into it because we started way back in November. Now, missing out on the finals for the first time in nine years was obviously not a great thing, but then that's last year. So we obviously approach this year with uh, a lot of confidence and a lot of positivity. They've worked really hard, the boys, and I think the last month has been a good build and we should go into round one against Collingwood uh, feeling pretty good about ourselves, I think. Um, and what have you made of the practice matches? It's fair to say probably a, a mixed bag of results, but no doubt pleasing to put in arguably our best performance leading into round one uh, against the Northern Blues last weekend. And obviously the only sour note was that injury to Spud Dwyer. Yeah, no, you pretty much summed it up really, mate. We wanted to accumulate a realistic number of players that would be available for possible selection in round one. I think it totals about 40, so that certainly suggests we've improved our depth by a long way going into season 2016. The injury to Sammy is a real blow, but that's the way footy is, unfortunately, if you want to be matter-of-fact about it. We love him dearly and he's a champ and a star, but he'll certainly be doing all he can to get back within a you know, realistic time frame. And our build, I guess, to use a term, has been pretty solid. And I wasn't that interested in the results. You know, you can say, OK, North Ballarat in a sort of a funny old five-quarter effort. And then we played some reasonable footy against Casey, who had a good side in. That was a point. Frankston back in front with some sort of sustained efforts. They got in front at the end of the day. And then last week, we rounded our prep off really, really well with a, a really good 44-point win. So I was pretty happy. But it doesn't mean much now in the scheme of things because you're really all about trying to get every player that you've got available to be up and ready. So, But we should go in against Collingwood, who would say they've had a pretty good run as well. And it should be a big game here on Sunday. So all in all, I think it's been a really good solid build and we wouldn't want to be playing our best footy now. Otherwise, I'd be a little bit concerned. So, But we'll take some confidence into round one for sure. Um, and who's stood out to you so far in terms of, I suppose, the new recruits more so? Um, has there been anyone in particular to surprise you or any shining lights from the pre-season and the practice matches so far? No, no one surprised me because you think you do your homework on a lot of your players and whether that's new and or old. But I think the ones in my mind that should be feeling really good about themselves would be Brody Majacek, who's been able to cover down back for us. I think he's had a terrific pre-season. If we had, I guess, the best and fairest votes counted now, he'd certainly be right in there. I think Lucas Cook has been terrific at fullback as well. So that gives us two key position players who should feel very good about what they hopefully will have as far as the year goes. I think Shannon Lang showed how important he is with his current fitness at the minute. And he's been really good, whether it be back or uh, in the midfield. And I think young Brodie Connolly's certainly, not in my mind, but I just uh, get the general talk around the club. I think a few people have been a bit surprised sorry, surprised about him, and he's only 19. So hopefully that augurs well with what we're doing now, but also to what we're looking to do in the future as well. Um, and so round one, it's going to be a huge game against the Pies, as you said, a side who was only just beaten in a semi-final last year. And I guess, as Toby alluded to on Monday at the jumper presentation night, uh, there's probably no better way to kick off the year against you know, such a quality opposition and at home and under the spotlight of you know, Channel 7 on TV as well. Yeah, well, that's another big thing, obviously. You know, we are on national TV, so our brand has to stand up really well as far as what we play in relation to our style of ball movement and how we generally play. So very keen to see how that goes. And, yeah, we'd like as many of our Borough supporters to get down here and have a really good look at us and then the reserves play after us, which is probably a bit unusual. But there's been a big build of, say, six months and every team that wants to go out in round one wants to win. So hopefully yeah, we'll be tucking four points in Stephen Carr's briefcase come about uh, two o'clock on Sunday. Uh, well, Gary, thanks for providing the fans with a bit of an update as we head into the season proper. Uh, we look forward to receiving plenty of your imp input and feedback throughout the year. Best of luck on Sunday. Good on you, Sam. Thank you.